Hi fifth graders, today we're going to be reviewing how to write a delicious response to literature and be going over to make sure our details are matching and that our responses read smoothly. So first of all, I want you to think to yourself, what are the different parts of a delicious response to literature? Remember there's the bowl, three scoops, and then the sprinkles on top. The bowl represents the first thing that you need to do is to restate the question in your answer. This is the base of your response. The scoops are three details that you need to defend your answer. And the sprinkles are your last sentence where you get to sprinkle in your own thoughts, opinions, or connections. Here I have a main idea and four examples of details. One of these details, however, doesn't match. The main idea is Kyle Vandervelden wanted to help get pencils to kids in other countries. One detail I selected was some poor countries don't have any pencils. Another detail I chose was the kids who gave out pencils learned a lot. The next detail I chose is here they are rolling around on floors and forgotten in drawers and backpacks. And then the last one I picked is he joined Right to Write to help collect pencils from schools and businesses. I want you to pause the video now and think about which one of these four do not match our main idea of Kyle Vandervelden wanted to help pencils get to kids in other countries. Do that now. Okay, you're back. So hopefully you noticed that this one right down here, kids who gave pencils learned a lot, does not match our main idea. It, in their main idea, we didn't say anything about the other kids who gave the pencils. We were just focused on Kyle. So if we wanted to say that Kyle learned a lot from this experience, then that would definitely match. But we didn't say anything in our main idea about the kids. However, we did talk about um, reasons such as some poor countries don't have any pencils. That's definitely su supporting this main idea because it talks about other countries. Here, they are rolling around on floors and forgotten in drawers and backpacks. So that talks about like why we're going to give these pencils to other kids. And lastly, he joined Right to Write to help collect pencils from schools and businesses because that's how he actually helped. The kids who gave pencils learned a lot isn't supporting this main idea. Let's look at another example. Now, if my main idea is simply do not waste pencils, that's a fine main idea because that fits our story here. Let's look down here and I want you to pause again and decide which three, one of these three does not fit. I want you to raise your hand when you think you know and tell me. Okay, you're back. So that means that you've already raised your hand and told me which one does not belong. The next thing I want to talk to you today about is making sure that your responses read smoothly. So here's an example of one of your um, classmates responses and it says the main idea of this article is to give kids pencils from around the world that cannot buy them because they do not have enough money or do not have them one reason is that this is right is because he goes to places like churches businesses and schools to find old pens pencils magic markers another good reason that it is good is because having something right to write with would help them learn the last fact I, fact I have is he has sent them to other countries like Ethiopia. In my opinion, I think it is a great idea. So when I read this response, I definitely think there are some things we need to work on. I love the main idea. Okay, I definitely think the main idea of the article is to give kids pencils because they don't have any. But I think that their bowl here is a little bit confusing. Whoops. The bowl is a little bit confusing. I think we could fix this a little bit. The main idea of this article is to give kids pencils from around the world that cannot... Gives, how about gives kids from around the world pencils that cannot buy them because they do not have enough money or do not have them. And we'll just get rid of this reason here, okay, just because they do not have enough money. Okay, now that bowl is nice and clear and concise. The main idea of this article is to give kids from around the world pencils that cannot buy them because they do not have enough money. 
Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna get into our scoops. You don't have to say things like one reason. You can just flat out tell me, okay? So one reason this is right, we don't need to include this part, okay? Or the because. Now, I would say we could just start with the he, but we don't know who he is. So we definitely need to tell our reader who he is. So this is Kyle. Kyle goes to places like churches, businesses, and schools to find old pens, pencils, and magic markers. Just some spacing issues here. Same thing here. We don't need to say another good reason. We'll start right here. We'll get rid of this. Instead of saying that this reason is good, we can just say here, having something to write with would help them learn. Now that's correct, but we need the right kind of write, W-R-I-T-E. Having something to write with would help them to learn. Instead of, we don't know who them is, so you need to tell us. Help the, these, or help kids from other countries to learn. The last fact I have is he has sent them to countries like Ethiopia. So same thing, we don't need this. And we can say, again, Kyle, you need to be clear of who you're talking about. Kyle has sent them to countries like Ethiopia. Now this reads smoothly. Let's read the bowl and the scoops together. The main idea of this article is to give kids from around the world pencils that cannot buy them because they do not have the money, enough money. Kyle goes to places like churches, businesses, schools, and schools to find old pens, pencils, and magic markers. Need the and in there. Having something to write with would help kids from other countries to learn. Kyle has sent them to countries like Ethiopia. That's awesome. All three of those details match our main idea, and now it reads nice and clear and um, concise. The last thing I want to talk about here is your sprinkles. In my opinion, I think it is a great idea. Now, I this is a good start to a sprinkle, but we definitely have room to grow. I would definitely want you to add on why is it a good idea. Okay, you can talk about how here in America we have a lot of items that go to waste that other students could be using um, or something like that. That, But you definitely need to expand. Don't just tell me it's a great idea. The next thing I want to show you is a number four example. This student of um, in our fifth grade class did an exemplary uh, job here and I just wanted to show it to you. The main idea of this article is how Kyle Vandervelden helps get pencils to the people that need them all around the world. Kyle saw that we waste pencils here every day, yet in other countries, a pencil is considered a rare and treasured artifact. Kyle goes to schools, businesses, and churches, collecting pencils for the nonprofit group he helps with. He has collected thousands so far. I want to help by donating pencils for, to other people around the world. So this is an awesome they, job. They really hit the main idea on the head here, talking about Kyle wanting to help get these pencils to these kids. Okay, and then they did an awesome job as well when they were making sure that their details not only matched, but they read nice and smoothly. Lastly, their details really show me their thoughts and feelings uh, behind this article. So great job to this student. I want you now to go back to your main idea um, paragraph and see if you can help yours become more like this for example. Make sure it reads smoothly and make sure your details match. When you get done doing that, raise your hand and a teacher will check it. Thank you. Have a good day.